So we went camping in Maine recently, and my father-in-law had this killer propane fire pit. I don't know about you, but I personally have allergies to smoke. I love smoke, I like the campfire smell, but I get pretty stuffed up afterward. So I pay the price. Guess what? I never got stuffed up with this propane fire pit. The Aurora Collection. So I bought one earlier that was just like what I thought was just like Papa's, but it wasn't. My wife pointed out how it was different and how she liked the one he had and why. The other one didn't have a nice top. It also did not ignite. It did the first time, but afterward I had to let it just fill with propane. Click, 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 and then it would just blow up into a huge flame singe your eyebrow hairs. So I sent that one back. I found this one is just like the one my father-in-law has. Got it off Amazon. I'll put a link down below. So this is it. What I like most about this one, it has a lid that locks onto the top and you can actually pick it up and carry it. Now, the reason this is important is because keeping the insides of a propane fire pit clean is critical to clean good function. If it gets all gummed up and dirty, it doesn't work very well. Ooh, this is nice. And this was the same price as the other one, maybe a little bit less, and this one is so much nicer. Look at that. Wow, this is so much nicer. Check it out. Real simple device, propane blows through here, well, through the hose, and then around here, and there's these little faux rocks you pile up in here, and you just turn it on, you got fire, turn it off, it cools down quick. No cleanup, no mess, no fuss. Ha <laughs> ha here's the rocks. Wow, I already like this one so much better. You can tell the construction quality way higher. The other one was a cheap piece of metal with just some like, looked like torn open holes in it. This one actually looks like a more machined part. It's very nice, good quality and it's nice looking. So it's got this hose and you attach it to a propane tank. All right, so we're gonna take this handle, put it through the holes. And look, they give us this little hardware bag. It even came with a tiny little wrench. All right, we got a little washer, goes on the handle side, the other one, Handle side, fish the handle through the holes on the lid. Big washer, big washer. Lock washer, lock washer, nut. This is great. This is the best part, in my opinion, of this entire propane set. This lid. 10 millimeter, you can use the wrench provided but I'm using my regular wrench. It's more comfortable and it's readily available. Don't over tighten, it's just plastic. Done. Look at that. And I got the one with a, it's got like a little bit of a bronze roughed finish. It was like 20 bucks or 10 bucks cheaper. I was like, I don't care, it's cheaper. All right, this is the lid, see? The little lips, they line up with these. You turn it, uh, wait, look, it locks, and then you can lift. But the best part is the lid stays on. The other one I had, it was all loose. It was just like a metal piece of sheet metal that laid on top, it was warped. It wasn't good. This at least closes, and then you can carry it. Easy to take off. So now we add the rocks. Bag of rocks. <laughs> That's the bag of rocks. I probably wasn't supposed to dump it, but I did. There it is. This is for your propane tank. It's to stabilize it, so when you set it on the ground, it's got a broader base. Pretty cool, nice accessory. That's it, guys. Now it's just a matter of plugging it in, turning it on. See, it keeps it safe and clean. All right, we got rain outside right now, so tomorrow I'll take this outside to the pop-up camper in the yard. 
We'll hook it up and we'll give it a try. All right, it's next day. Let's go test this thing. Come with me. All right, this is the at-home campground. This is just a nice piece. I gotta say, the other one I bought, very disappointing. All right, let's uncover. All right, look at this, like it was made for it. Oh, it was. All right, quick connect. Simple startup, you press it in. Oh, look at that, it started on the first click. Ooh, that's a lot of heat. So this is about 54,000 BTU, I think. It's awesome. I love it. Oh, that's low. Even on low, it creates lots of heat. I left, I left this little tag on. I gotta take this off. All right, I'm gonna light it again one more time. Oh, twice in a row. The last one worked once, and then it was a nightmare. Just didn't light, didn't work. Oh, I like it. So cool, so much nicer. Just a higher quality unit than the other one. And the lid, everything about it, even the, you know, same price, way better. I'm glad my wife pointed out the differences and I, and I looked and I dug deeper and I got this one. Woo! Ta-da!